What's going on peeps and peepets? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. This is going to be a video where we're going to take a closer look at the divergence, divergence, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to pronounce it divergence because there is an I over there. But anyway, that is what we're going to do in this video. We are going to cover all of the items that were inside there. Now, I already did the starship. It's already up on the channel. If you haven't looked that up, uh, I basically go through the entire um, statistics about that. Starship, I actually take it in combat to do some little bit of a, a pew pew in space. And I uh, highly recommend you guys, if you want to purchase something from this uh, log box, I'm going to cover them today right here. Now, there is a Starship um, trait up here, Concealed Repairs. There are three space traits, there are three ground traits, there are ground weapons, there are universal consoles, there is there are these things. I have no idea what they put why Cryptic actually put these things up here just to mess around with our inventory space, I'm guessing. <laughs> that's just that's just weird. Uh, there is also a new vanity shield up there for us to grab. There is also a new weapon pack. Um these ultimate uh, Plasma-based weapons, so we got turrets, we got dual cannons. I don't have any dual weapon, uh, dual heavy, because it's basically the same animation, just you know, a little bit faster or you know, um, more of them. Uh, also have a, a plasma beam, also a, a dual beam bank, and also there is also a omni, and all of these things are based on plasma so you guys can have your entire plasma set or entire uh, set uh, based up on omni beams because I know some of you are like where is the plasma omni beam here it is <laughs> so you guys can have that final piece that you guys wanted to have your overpowered build in, uh, build in space so, um, moving on, there is also a um, a couple of these modules, so we got one, two, three of them. There is also um, a training modules for your bridge officers. We have uh, delayed overload cascade. We have an engineering construction a shuttle wing. And for tactical, we have an augmented boarding party very very cool right very cool now if that was everything i would definitely take you guys already to a place where you can actually see one of these things and start off doing all of the traits and stuff like that but and i say but there is more in the lobby store there is a jet Laya staff um if you want to grab this thing let me see how much it costs uh 40 lobby uh this is going to be uh, jet Lion staff if you want to have that for yourself there is also a new um low by based uh, space set so you have an omni based on plasma definitely the ultimate uh based weapons you can actually see it kind of looks like the same icon just a little bit modified there is a torpedo that's going to do kinetic damage. Very cool to see this in space. And also a um, universal console. Uh, that is auto, it's going to auto-deploy a ultimate drone to assist 30-second recharge, 2.3% critical chance, and 20.3% in accuracy rating. Now, I'm definitely interested in the... A set bonuses uh, probably it's going to kick in one when we are in space and also in the lobby store a survival suit uh, for those guys that are interested in getting these things um, you know making your set complete or making your character look more fabulous that is uh, that is up there for you to grab. So uh, let me just take these things out of the, out of the way because these are basically for me a useless item currently. But um, you know they put them up there for for us to to use to fill our inventory, especially if you're going to open a lot of these boxes. These things are going to come really really high uh high amount so what these things are these are basically um transwarping you your character 
to Bajor right away. So you don't have to go to sector space and then system map and then to Bajor. You can just right away go over there. And there are a couple of them where you can actually go straight away, straight away, straight away over there. So you got Bajor, Drozana, you have the Genolan Dyson Sphere, you have basically our space dock right here where we are, and also Deep Space Nine. There are now, like I said, there are more of them. So you got Bajor, Deep Space Nine, Drozana, Dyson Sphere. These are all the ones that I got. But trust me, the list goes on and on and on. Basically, the more populated space, or at least the populated ground um, areas where you basically need to go you know frequently they are basically there so kind of cool that they put it up here but to me pointless because there are lots and lots of ways to do that you can basically use missions just grab missions put them in your inventory or not even in your personal log over here and basically you can go everywhere you want to go uh, spin the wheel is Drozana stranded in space is basically something that I use to go to Earth space talk real quickly asteroid mining if you want to go to deep space 9 and your transport is on cooldown and you can basically um, make these things primary just hit here and then you just basically go there um, so uh, I mean sure sure you can basically you know save up time and all that but meh you know if you want to you can use them all right so with these taken care of let's go to the starship uh, or at least the trait uh, of these things so more details on this so contained within this package is a generic sequencer uh, capable of unlocking traditional additional trait uh, potential to a single character once open this trait will automatically be added your available trait list of the character that opens the box. Um, so, concealed repair starship trait. Cloaking the starship or placing an enemy or placating an enemy repairs 30% of your starship hull over uh, uh, 10 seconds and recharges bridge officer ability by 25% at the same period. 45 second cooldown. It is uh, wisest to repair one starship outside the line of fire. Hmm. So this thing is going to kick in if you are going to cloak the starship or placate an enemy, uh, an enemy uh, ship because it's 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 for space. Um, and that is going to repair thirty three percent of your starship hull over the next ten seconds. And also is going to recharge bridge officer ability by 25% in the same period. So for the next 10 seconds, they're going to get a reduction in cool time time by 25%. And this thing has a lockdown or a cooldown for 45 seconds. This might be useful for people doing science stuff. I don't see it very being useful in cloaking. Um, scenarios but placating could be could be fun so uh, that is that the next one is a principled insubordination uh, insubordination insubordination hope i pronounced that right uh, okay so that's that uh starship trait or space trait 10% chance of using bridge officer ability to apply a rank 1 team uh, ability. The team ability matches the type of bridge officer ability used unless it was a special one, in which cases team ability is used in rendering from science, tactical, or engineering. Any officers can disobey orders, but only the most trusted can do it without uh, being reported uh, by the captain afterwards. Okay. So 10% chance of using bridge officer ability to apply a rank one of uh, team ability. So tactical team, you know, science and engineering. Uh, very cool, very cool. I don't know if that's going to be very useful, this thing, but could be. The SWAT system in Starship Trade is the next one. Enemy ships or of cruiser rank and smaller, which attack your ship in the rear arc, are pulled through subspace in front of your ship. And are several and are severely slowed for eight seconds. Twenty second cooldown. 
deployed after a swarm of tiny enemies uh, maneuvered a large Starfleet vessel, a small warship adversary translocator or SWAT system. What? Who came up with that? Um, was deployed for was deployed uh, to provide uh, capital ships a meaning of using enemies reliance on a tiny ship against them. Hmm. Enemy ships of cruiser rank and smaller which attack your ship in the rear arc are pulled through subspace in the front of your ship and are severe slowed for 8 seconds with 20 second cooldown. So those annoying swarmers that they're talking about, this thing is basically going to pull them through a subspace in front of your ship, basically having giving you the chance to use like high yield torpedo or torpedo spread to actually decimate them in front. Cool. Uh, what do you got? Refresh from R&R. Team Bridge Officer ability minimum cooldown are 5 seconds faster. Additionally, the first control effect applied to the ship is cleansed and the ship gains 3 seconds of control immunity af uh, thereafter. The cleanse effect has a 45 seconds recharge. Team abilities are engineering, tactical science, intel and pilot. Uh, the moral benefits of having a well-rested crew are not easy to quantify them then they are to forgo what the moral benefits of having a well-rested crew are not are no easy to quantify then they are to forgo hmm okay so the base minimum of your bridge officer abilities are reduced by five seconds Didn't they, like, like ages ago, didn't they say that, didn't they say, like, uh, didn't Cryptic made, like, a big statement that you cannot um, lower the cooldown ability of your bridge officers after a certain amount? And this trait is basically reducing those minimum cooldowns by five seconds. Okay. So they're going against their own... Wording, I'm guessing. <laughs> nice. All right, so we're going to the ground portion of these traits. Uh, taking damage while in combat causes four holo decoys of you to appear and spread out for your position, distracting the enemy. Decoys taunt enemy, uh, nearby enemies, but cannot attack. Adapting for technology recovered by Starfleet away team, these decoys continually continue to pound combat tradi uh, tradition of unorthodox of orthodox unorthodox uh, doxy. All warfare is a deception. Of orthodox unorthodoxy, all warfare is a deception. Okay, so this is basically just like the no cool um, shield, immunity shield, which actually gives those holo decoys um, for your enemy to actually kill off. And this thing is whenever you're going to take damage, uh, four of these holo decoys are going to appear and they're going to taunt enemies around you, but they're not going to attack. So that's kind of interesting. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. This is a ground trait. I don't know. Dolce et decorum est. Latin, probably. Adds the that buff to your character, which provides a 10% bonus damage. If you are knocked unconscious, this buff is replaced by antebellum. Uh, memento mori which provides 20 damage, uh, 20 damage resistance reset on map move no training fully prepares a soldier for war no training fully prepares a soldier for war and a patriotic uh, sacrifice is often the first lesson they unlearn how much damage depends on how much changes depends on much of on the war, uh, as a person, some captains can hardly be recognized after 
their campaign. Okay, I'm definitely liking this. Adds this buff to your character, which provide 10% bonus damage. I'm saying, if you want to enhance your damage output of your grand character, definitely a must. And if you get killed, uh, this thing is going to get replaced by another buff, which will provide plus 20 in damage resistance. So you're going to be more buff uh, to, you know, uh, to 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 not die again and this particular uh, trait this particular system actually resets when you move to a different map so you get 20 percent bonus damage so you're going to do more damage and if it happens that you are killed or knocked unconscious you're going to get 20 uh, 20 damage uh, resistance so you're going to be more tougher to to actually uh, get killed. Oh, that is something that I definitely want to have. Let's see. What is the last one? Kit module lose on allies who are below 50% health. Heal them by 33 of their maximum health for 30 second cooldown. To absent friends. At times, the senior staff gathered in memory of those who cannot. They will do anything for those who can still be saved. Uh, I'll pass on this. <laughs> I will definitely pass on that. So we got also these new um, uh, ground weapons that were in the weapon pack. Uh, this one. So if you open this, you have the option to beam weapon, cannon weapon, or a random ground weapon. So I am going to put this on my character and see. Yes. And see. Ooh. Oh, well, that is cool. That is kind of looking like that fish thing that we use to, or that 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 brace thing that we use to knock on uh, the ice to to make like you know fish things come out of there. If you got you guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> oh, that is that is cool. Can I actually lower this? Oh, yeah, there we go. So you guys can actually see it a little bit better. It's like augmented on your arm. It's like a shield thing, like very cool. The aesthetics of this thing is beautiful. I love it. I wish it had a little bit more details. That is, that's cool. Look at that, my hand is shaking. My hand is shaking, man. That's 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 how much beautiful this thing looks like. All right. Um, let's see. The other one is probably the same. Yeah, it is the same. There is no difference between the um, the 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 aesthetics of these things. The module of the of the weapon are the same. The, basically, the different is going to be the way it. This thing is going to fire. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so for these, I need to be in space. Uh, the ground traits and bridge officer abilities, I need to be in a ground map. But I can show you guys Jetlast staff. What the hell? What is that? <laughs> that is just, ooh. That tip looks interesting. Let me remove the HUD so you guys can see, and I can see it a little bit better as well. Oh, we are definitely going to take this thing in combat and see what it does. Because it kind of looks interesting. Alright, let me go to... Uh, let me go to a ground map where we can actually displayed the ground portion of these things uh, also the 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 kit modules uh, the traits kit modules and the way these weapons are firing because uh, it kind of looks uh, and kind of looks interesting to say the least these these 
the staff. All right, so I'll be right back. I am here at the Kobali ground map. Uh, now, there is a reason why I usually come here, because one of all, it's quiet. No other people around me, you know, doing various stuff that is going to mess around with my recording so you guys can focus on my character and what is being displayed right there. Uh, second reason is these enemies are not that tough, uh, and yeah, and then um, and then they kill me. But it's all good. I mean, you have to keep in mind that whenever you're coming to a ground map, and especially one of these uh, these these big zones where you have lots of enemies, your skill or at least your level of your character is going to be reduced, as you guys can see on the top left. Uh, my character is 65 and he's being downscaled to 51 so whenever i'm going to fight an enemy i'm not going to be at my full uh, at my full potential anyway but uh right here i am using uh can you show it please there you go i'm using the um the one that i just bought from the uh from the low buy store and just let me just remove it so you guys can actually see the uh, real numbers on this thing uh, Not the ones that are being enhanced by my abilities and skills and stuff like that But this is how it comes out of the box without being uh, Upgraded I am going to upgrade it and see what kind of like mods we can add or we can re uh, um, uh, Re-engineer on this thing So it is doing electrical damage uh, Primary and secondary secondary being a sniper shot primary being a bolt uh, shot bolt setting uh, it's doing 122.9 with my build and 175 DPS. Uh, the second one is doing also electrical damage, uh, a big massive amount because it is uh, a sniper shot. So 408.8 electrical damage doing 34.8 DPS because it is in a, a longer duration that is going to do that. Also standard 2% in critical chance and 20 in critical severity. Um, what's good about this thing, the modifier uh, has a 10% chance to self plus 10 in run speed for the next 25 seconds. So you have an, you know, and you have an added bonus over running faster, even, even even faster than you are, there is a 10% chance to get in, to gain 10% in run speed. Um, so I am going to re-engineer or at least upgrade this thing. I'm seeing that it's currently not able to be re-engineered. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, so what kind of modifiers we can do? We can have a crit D, crit H, damage, kickback, or dot. Um, on the on the first and the second one is just crit D, crit H, damage. And the third uh, modifier is we cannot change. Uh, so crit D is actually good. I might go for a damage right here. That's kickback. I don't want that. Crit D. So we got twice crit D at level uh, 12. Now, I am going to upgrade this thing all the way to level 15. Because I'm going to use uh, triple magic. It's not going to cost me anything. ready to be upgraded there we go maximum capacity this thing is doing 180 electrical 180.9 electrical damage and 610 so that 122 that it was uh, at mark 12 actually gained a lot of points if you're doing if you want to do damage with this thing now all of the modifiers have been unlocked uh, kickback kickback and uh, damage over time and the rest are just the normal stuff damage crit h i can actually go for damage and crit d on that Okay, so Creed D, I like that. Um, that I don't like. I actually want damage in Creed D if that's going to be possible. Damage Creed H. Damage Creed D, that's what I was looking for. 
and this is how much it actually gains so you have crit d times three damage and a crit d so basically a crit d times four and an increasement in damage um very very cool i'm liking this thing already so let us equip this thing now it is on my primary now i actually see that there is a bolt sniper and a pushback ability so oh oh my god what did she just do does she only does that animation yeah she just swings it like that okay Oh, wait, whoa, what was that? Oh my god. Oh, my arm was just broken right there. It was like only... <laughs> okay, so if you do the um, pushback ability once, twice, she actually does that. She breaks her arm. <laughs> right here, right here. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, <laughs> she breaks her arm. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's cool. I believe I have this on, uh... yeah, okay, so, cool, very cool. Yeah, that is not part of it. Uh, let me just remove that, and that should not even be here anyway. So, that is the pushback ability, and that's the... Nice, nice. That is cool. That is cool. All right. What is? What did I just drop? I dropped these things, didn't I? A smoke gel trap creates five smoke gel traps for next sixty seconds that take four seconds to arm. Once armed, when an enemy when an enemy closes to one point five meter, they detonate, trapping foes within three meters to a fragile hole for the next nineteen point four seconds. Ooh, that is something that I want to test out on these guys. Oh, look! 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 We got one! We got one! Look at that! Does he actually get damaged? Now, this is one of the other traits. So, I got four Secutas running around. Taunting the enemy. Um, what's those skills? These things were called the Hollow Decoys. I can actually look it up here. Oh, that is that is cool. It actually like envelops. Look at these guys. These these guys are enveloped with these things. Oh, that's. So this is how the staff actually fires. Sniper shot. Oh, this guy is immune because. Holo decoys again, five securitas. Cool. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> oh, that is sick. Look at these guys. These guys are running around, no idea where. Oh, that is, that's cool. Okay, so, um... The second ability, or at least the second uh, kit module that I'm going to show you guys, is the Bio Essence Transfer. Target foe to the target physical damage over the next 20 seconds. To, the, to yourself, you're going to get hit points in return. So he's going to expose the target, granting 100% healing. And also, is uh, the exposed target is going to gain 200% damage. Oh, that is something that I want to showcase. Let's go this way. There are basically enemies everywhere. This guy. 
What did I just do? Am I like m holding this guy up with my arm? What is? Dude, come here. That's just basically he's vaporizing the guy. That is just basically one shot, one kill, and I gain like so many hit points in return. That's sick. Bio Essence Transfer. So he's getting physical damage and I'm getting hit points in return. So we're basically swapping uh, hit points, basically. Wow. He's just one shot vaporizing this guy. But then again, you kind of need one point... 2k in hit points to base to vaporize this the, your enemy if he has more than that he's going to survive but that's cool all right so last kit module chain conduit capacitor to the target foe electrical damage bone bounces up to five times okay so we need like a group that will do We kind of need line of sight. Here we go in three, two, one. What happened? I saw nothing. I saw nothing. <laughs> All right, let's pick up another group because didn't saw really good what's happening up there. Let's pick up these guys. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, now I see. Now I see. Now I see what's going on. All right, let's take this guy out with a sniper shot. Boom. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> Look at this guy. This guy being held up here. Can I actually fire on this guy? Oh, okay. So whenever I fire on this guy, he actually... Um, gets removed from that hold state, basically. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, did I say all of these traits? To absent friend using okay so this is something that i can't actually show 10 percent damage when using this thing and basically holo decoys you guys already saw that is that's cool uh the kit modules i just show uh shown uh, the next weapon i have not shown or at least the firing cycle and that's about it for ground right yeah all right let's see how this thing shoots Let's do a plasma bolt. Boom. <laughs> Holo decoys. So this is how it shoots. Give me your health. <laughs> Electrical damage you. And your life is mine. Okay, I'm kind of liking the uh, the traits overall. And I'm liking uh, some of these kit modules. Now, obviously, something... Uh, this is going to be overpowered very, very soon. Um, the Bio Essence... No, wait a minute. The bio essence tr uh, transfer is going to be overpowered very soon because they're probably going to reduce this. 
Um, the smoke gel trap, kind of fun to do, but if you start attacking your enemy when they are in this hold straight, um, they are basically are going to be um, be mobile again. So that could be something to think about. The electrical damage that is going to bounce, nah, not that cool, to be honest. I am liking the staff. If you are into, if you are into, uh, you know, to sniper shots and all that, that could be. This could be something cool. Me, not so much, to be honest. I don't see this thing being like overpowered. Something that you need to have in your ground abilities. It's... Yeah. All right. Next portion is going to be going to be space because I have two universal consoles to uh, showcase a bunch of uh, weapons uh, and also low by set. And this is basically a outfit. Um, that there is no uh, real good uh, showcasing about that. Well, I could wear it, but then it's like... You guys are not going to recognize my character anymore. So anyway, space is next. Now, for the space portion of this uh, this video, I'm actually going to use uh, this surrounding. Um, for those that are familiar with Star Trek Online, basically know what kind of surrounding I am in right now. This is the mission where you need to rescue the the Azura because they've been ambushed right there but just to showcase all of the all of the items I'm just going to use this particular map now I did equip all of the guns that we have also this unique torpedo launcher that we had from the Lobby store also the Omni from the Lobby store and also the Universal console that I have right here but first of all I'm actually going to show you guys all of the um, numbers for the Lobby set, also two unique uh, consoles, but first, like I said, the um, the numbers from the uh, Lobby set. Now, let me just go to more details so you guys can actually read with me. Um, only one uh, set omnidirectional beam may be equipped within any given time. Beam array has the most common and versatile weapon available. They fire a series of average damage beam across a wide arc. Energy weapons are equal effective against starship hull and shields and hull. Ultimate uh, plasma space weapon have a chance to apply a debuff to enemy plasma and kinetic damage resist. Uh, this particular weapon has been stripped down and rebuilt in a large number of times. A large number of times and many of its parts have been replaced by older modular Starfleet phaser technology. The results, uh, the result uh, is a crude but a highly effective guaranteed the special ultimate plasma effect uh, anytime the beam uh, scores a critical hit. Now, this thing also gives you a plus one a critical uh, chance shipwide. So all of your beams, all of your, I'm guessing all of your, uh, if you're going to do science stuff, they're also going to do, uh, going to get an increase in their critical chance. Uh, beam fire multiple, yeah, we already read that. So this thing, because it is a Omni, it's going to fire a 360 degree targeting arc with a 10 kilometer range one second recharge or at least one second in cooldown um a x amount of plasma damage with an x amount of dps this thing is going to steal 10 percent of your weapon when this thing is going to be fired the weapon power and the proc on this thing is 2.5 percent for the next 15 seconds minus 15 plasma kinetic damage resistance rating always on a critical don't know what that is, but sure. So if you want to increase the effectiveness of this weapon, long range targeting is something you need to put points in weapon training and energy weapon training to have it benefit from all of these numbers right there. So that's the Omni. We have a torpedo. Um, yeah, nothing really fancy about this. 50% chance for the next 15 seconds. Plus 3% chance for plasma based weapons and ability always uh, on critical. 
Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Ultimate modified Kelvin torpedo shares unusual a unusually fast result uh, res, um, fast cycle time uh, with other Kelvin torpedoes, but this one is plasma torpedo, though it still deals kinetic da damage. Occasionally, the weapon backfire uh, back blast will uh, supersaturate the plasma conduit and the ship's weapon system, providing a bonus to criticals chance to all plasma weapons. This effect is guaranteed anytime a torpedo itself scores a critical hit. Starfleet, to uh, Starfleet torpedo hull, uh, ultimate weapon uh, plasma, weapon head, ultimate drone coordinate attack, Starfleet computing and a hybrid propulsion system. I don't know what they all mean. Is it whenever these things actually crit? Sure, this weapon has been uh, field modified to the point where it's no longer recognizable. Some clues to its origin remains. The Starfleet technology is very old and some of it appears uh, sourced from precursor military organization. The ultimate alien technology is competitive, uh, much more advanced, but its sharp lacks in areas where the Starfleet technologies exceeded. Huh, all right. All right, all right. Um, the console that we got from the uh, Lobby store, this console improves accuracy and critical chance, as well as controlling a small ultimate uh, drone craft to support the host vessel. If a drone should be destroyed, a new one is replicated and, dis and deployed after a recharge period. This hybridized uh, console combines Starfleet technology with ultimate alien tech technology in is very highly iterated way iterated way however uh, whoever designs this uh, did so gradually potentially iterating a prior attempt still visible in the code like rings of the three trunk in a tree trunk oh 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 i know what you mean like you have the inner diameter and then the outer diameter and then the outer diameter is basically the aging of the of the tree trunk what they're talking about right here uh, the result combined distributed drone technology with starfleet massive computing power to hone a decisive battlefield edge all right did not understand any of those <laughs> but sure all right so we're going to put the omni at the back torpedo on the front because we do not want to do a little bit of torpedo damage and the universal console basically does not uh what is that swarmer all right uh if we go to information about this thing the second and the third set is going to be available so if you have all three pieces of this thing plasma saturation bombardment is going to be available for you on crit or miss fire a bolt at the target dealing x amount of plasma damage maximum two per second and the third piece is set Starfleet Ultimate Hybrid Arms. 100% firing cycle haste for weapons for the next 12 seconds. I believe this is going to be a clicky. Let me make sure I don't have any new... Oh, where is it? Oh, this is that Universal Console ability. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Deploy Swarms, I have it right there. Anything new that's there. And that's there. All right, started clicking. Okay. Um, let's get this thing in combat and fire off all of the guns. Uh, no, wait a minute. Let me just do this shield right now. The visuals. Now I am using, or it is, this ship is the the one from the lockbox, the Kelvin Heavy Destroyer. So I'm going to put up the visuals on here and it's kind of funny whenever you move this uh, ship the icon actually doesn't have the the yellow edge to it it's kind of cool right or that might be a bug and it's not so cool see whenever you try to move it it's not have it doesn't have that yellowish outline but anyway let's equip this thing yes and see uh it didn't change anything. What the hell? Now, I brought a ship that has lots of uh, surface area <laughs> where we can actually see what changes this thing is going to take. Okay, it makes it 
look flat. I mean, <laughs> not the ship. The ship is flat on its own, but the colors are like flat. Or they just messed up and didn't put up any new uh, colors to it. Or is it supposed to be like this? Hmm. I don't know. You guys tell me. Me personally, I really don't like the new uh, vanity shield. Uh, let me just unequip it. Yeah. It makes the ship look look flat in its in its in its whole plating. It doesn't have any 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 new new items on top of stuff like that. Oh, that's so. If you want a baseline ship and no you know no fuss no fussing around in your in your in your uh, visuals, you can have this one. Let's see the. Yeah, even the warp cells are like flat out. They don't have any oomph to it. Okay, so let me switch back. Uh, back where we are, where we were, where we should be. Um, now we do have uh, two new consoles right here that are universal base, so you can basically use them on everything. It says right there, plus 20% all damage. Um, incoming hull, uh, incoming heals exceed the maximum hull instead of temporary hit points for the next 30 seconds. And here's, there's always a clicky. Imagine uh, refractors, cloak, engines offline, heals for 100% of hull over the next 20 seconds. Well, this could be interesting to see. It's basically play dead. <laughs> Okay, cool. Uh, next one is plus 20% in turn rate, flight speed, and damage to your hangar pets and targetable torpedoes. Hold on. Oh, this is definitely a must have for carriers. 30% in flight speed, 30% in turn speed. Wow, that's definitely for carriers. Damage to your hangar pets, carriers, and targetable torpedoes. Mm, meh, not for carriers. But lift, uh, plus 50 projectile weapon training and deploy drone swarm. Drone swarms that deal physical damage. Five at a time, a squadron of 45 seconds. Dealing woo, two minute cooldown. This is definitely something for the carriers amongst us to uh, utilize. Uh, firing cycle haze for okay so that's the universal console okay so I think I covered everything all of the uh, guns and all that I'm going to show right now let me just take them out of auto fire and we are going to fire them against these particular guys what is that oh that's that drone thingy that's basically getting wasted really really quickly yep and there should be one coming out of my ship really fast. Anyway, let's start doing torpedo first. Boom. Beams. Dual beams. Or that was dual beams. This is just single beams. Uh, heal me a little bit. Okay. Uh, I believe there was the Omni. No, that is the turret. Hey, that thing is firing as well. Cool. Oh, wait a minute. That is that... I was thinking about why are these ships appearing in front of my ship. Um, that is that trait that I have. Uh, is it this one? Yes. Uh, no, this one. The SWAT system. Small foes attacking Yuri are going to pull through subspace. Okay, there we go. There we go. So, let me do a high yield torpedo. This guy is attacking my rear. Come on, I have high yield torpedo active. No! Damn it. <laughs> okay, I also want to showcase three new bridge officer abilities. So, we have a delayed 
overload cascade we have that uh, augmented boarding party and we have this thing right here deploy construction shuttle wings all right let's use these things right here what did i okay so i deployed more of these things that's basically should heal my um uh, my shippy uh let's use this thing delayed overgate cascade i don't know what that is oh i like that and the omni right here look at that i'm getting healed by these by these guys oh i like that and let's try to get this guy with the augmented boarding party I'm liking all of these new abilities. Alright, the Universal Consoles. Imagine refracting cloak engines offline and heal yourself, basically. Now, these heals that I'm getting, these are just from these pets that are basically healing my ship. That is cool. That is very nice. They are healing my my ship. That is something I definitely need as a carrier. Look, it transported this guy in front of me again. Nice. Alright, let's use this thing in three, two, one. Activate this thing. Wow, I love the visuals. So my ship is cloaked. And these guys are still healing my ship. And my ship doesn't go anywhere. It's just cloaked and it's staying right there. It is getting healed though. And then I decloak and start moving again. Very cool. Alright, let's use this ability on them. Deploy swarms if we can actually face him. There we go. Look at these swarms. That is sick. All of these things. We're basically going through that ship. Wow, they're tearing it apart, man. Look at that. That is insane. Alright, need some drones. Heal my ship. These guys are just like the, um, the mines that basically go and do lots of damage to your ships, to the enemies. Okay, next one that I need to showcase is the basically just a firing cycle haste for the for for your weapons for the next 12 seconds. So everything is down to 4 seconds. Torpedo, go go go. Wow, it is basically continuously firing. There we go, nice and cool down. Wow. I'm not doing any, uh, you know, any big amount of damage to these guys because it's like, boom, you get wasted. Because skill and abilities and all that, I really don't have them. But it's cool. Um, take out of it what you can out of this video. These are something um, 
that might be very handy to have. 20% all damage right here. Uh, if you're using, um, if you're utilizing uh, your 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 hanger pets, these are very awesome. The 20% uh, in uh, uh, cycle haste, 2.3% in critical chance. Very some very nice, very something something to to think about, and it's really cool to to have the set bonuses as well, right here. 100% in fire and cycle haze for the next 20 seconds, uh, 12 seconds. Very cool. But then again, you kind of need the three pieces, and I don't see the Omni or the Torpedo being really cool. But then again, I'm not a build guy. You guys know more about these uh, ships than I do, but it's definitely cool to, uh, to play around with. Anyway... I think I've shown everything, right? Visuals. The only, only thing that I didn't show is the outfit. And uh, can I use these things right here? All right, let's go to... No, I don't want to try as well. I want to use these to... To go to Bajor. So this is what it actually does. It basically, whenever, wherever you are in, in space or in ground, it basically takes your character and, you know, loads up that map, the one that you selected. In my case, Bajor, uh, not Bajor Space, but Bajor Ground, uh, Bajor Space, um, uh, Bajor in, in Hathor, I believe it is, it is called. Uh, so it's not Deep Space Nine, but it's like the ground portion the, the the map that we can actually run around with and that's basically cool but then again why do we need this as 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 a thing right there are a lot of missions out here that can actually take you to this to this place you know it's but then again it's you know something to clog off our uh, our inventory with you know for those of us that you know it's, it's really important in uh, in time spent online um that's it for this video guys hope you had a little bit of fun and knowledge entertainment coming out of it uh would love to see you guys on the next video for now i'm gonna say take care and later